John became a British hero by memorably winning his home Grand Prix at Silverstone in the carbon chassis McLaren MP41, and he did so after avoiding a multi-car accident at the very fast Woodcut chicane, triggered by Ferrari Gilles Villeneuve. The most important thing is to not look at the car directly ahead of you, but look through the corner. I saw the Ferrari going boom, 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 one way, then boom, boom, the other way, and eventually a big cloud of blue smoke. So I was forewarned or forearmed to be prepared to brake heavily if I needed to, or to take avoiding action or whatever. Which you did very well. Late yeah. in the race, René Arnoux's engine started to go off song and you were catching him second, second yeah. and a half, two seconds a lap. But again, I remember you saying afterwards, it was very tempting at the time for you to start pressing on and really start to feel the wind was there. But again, you had to just tell yourself, you're catching him, he's in trouble, just take it one corner at a time, look after the tires, don't do anything stupid. I well, remember you saying that yeah. afterwards. Well, the first thing I want to say is that René Arnoux has never forgiven me for winning that race. <laughs> and the last time I saw him, I think it was at Monaco earlier this year, and he still rants on <laughs> that I would have won that race. I can't do a French accent. I would have won that race only because my car broke. It wasn't, yeah. you know, give it a rest, for yeah. goodness sake. I but mean, it did what, break, Rennie. 35, no, 37 years ago. <laughs> I mean, talk about it. I mean, I think as the race progressed and they saw that I was Jump. making progress through the field, that there was a possibility, not that I was going to win an outright pace, but I might come first. There's a difference mm. between winning and coming first. And when I knew then began to struggle and then I took the lead, around the circuit I became aware that there was an excitement which I'd never experienced personally and had seen briefly maybe with James in 76 at Brands Hatch. And the race then concluded checkered flag, did a lap of honour with Jacques Lafitte in the back of a flatbed truck came out of Cop's Corner driving up towards Beckett's and the circuit was covered in people. And I turned to Jack and said, what the hell is going on? And he, he turned around and said very eloquently, this is for you. You have given oh. them a special day and this is their way of saying thank you. And one of the things that I've enjoyed in those 37 years since that success is, in particular when I've been at Silverstone, but could be anywhere, grown-ups who may have been youngsters, you know, maybe teenagers, on that day, I walked up and said, I just wanted to say I was at Silverstone and thank you for a great day, which is maybe more uh, of a pleasure than the outright win itself.